Hey everybody, this is Victoria with Mid-South Outdoor Life. And today, I'm gonna to show y'all how to make a homemade cast iron venison pizza. So you could go to the store and buy a jar of sauce, but I find it to be far more gratifying to make mine at home. So I do wanna emphasize how important it is to build the sauce one ingredient at a time, just like I'm about to show you. Let's start with one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and two anchovies on medium heat for one minute. Okay, now we're gonna add three cloves of minced garlic and we're gonna let that cook for another minute. Now we're gonna lower our heat to medium low and we're gonna add one tablespoon of oregano and we're gonna let that cook for two minutes. Now it's time to add your peeled tomato. And then we're gonna do a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper and a half teaspoon of oregano. Now let's bring this to a simmer. Now we're gonna add a half teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of fresh ground pepper, and salt to taste. And we're gonna let this cook for 40 minutes on low, which is gonna give us plenty of time to start our crust. To get started on this, we're going to add one fourth cup of warm water to activate our yeast. We just need one packet of yeast, and then we're going to put one teaspoon of honey. And we're going to stir it all together. Okay, now we're going to add three fourths cup of warm water, one tablespoon of olive oil one teaspoon of salt and we're going to stir all this together and then we're going to start slowly adding our flour and we're just going to keep adding our flour until we can't stir it with a spoon Okay. Alright, now we're going to take some flour and we're just going to dust it over the countertop. And then we're going to take our dough. And then we're going to knead it until it doesn't pick up any more flour. My sauce is cooked for 40 minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a pinch of baking soda. And I'm gonna stir it until it dissolves. And I'm just gonna take it off heat and let it sit to the side and thicken while I finish my crust. Now I'm gonna take some olive oil and I'm just gonna sprinkle it around the pan here. You can also use cooking spray, whichever you prefer. And then I'll pick my dough up and put it in the middle and cover it with some olive oil. And then I'm gonna cover it with a damp towel and then I'm gonna stick it in a warm place, whether it be a window or an oven. I'm using an oven because it's a cold day and I'm gonna let it set for 50 minutes to rise. My dough's been in the oven for about 40 minutes and it's already risen, so it's ready to spread out over this floured surface. What we're gonna do is we're gonna knead it until it's a nice, perfect circle. I'm 
All right, that looks like it's about ready. We're gonna stick it back in our bowl and we're gonna cover it with our wet towel again. We're gonna put it back in the warm place for about 30 minutes. So while we're waiting on our dough to rise, we're gonna go ahead and lightly brown one cup of venison. Now you can use more, but this is how much I'm gonna use because I'm also gonna use some pepperonis. I'm just gonna lightly season with a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't wanna get carried away because our sauce has a lot of flavor and I don't want it to overpower. Okay guys, now it's time to go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 to get ready to make a pizza. All right, now guys, you're just gonna coat your cast iron skillet with a little bit of butter, smooth it around in there, get the sides really good, and then you're gonna put it in the oven so it gets nice and warm, so we put the crust in there, it'll get a nice, nice crust on the bottom. Okay guys, now we're just gonna go ahead and push this out and be really gentle so we don't cause any holes until we get it smoothed out enough to where we can put it in our skillet. Okay. All right guys, now it's time to move our pizza crust into our skillet. Remember, the skillet is hot, so be careful. All right, now we're gonna put this in the oven for six minutes. Now that our crust is pre-cooked for six minutes, it's time to build this baby. I like to brush it with a little extra virgin olive oil and then a little garlic powder, and then I like to hit it with some toppings. The basis of our toppings is our sauce. The batch that we made will make two pizzas, so we're only gonna use half. All right, now I'm gonna add an eight ounce bag of provolone and mozzarella. Make sure to get it on the edges so you get like a nice little burnt cheese on the edge. It's super good. Now I'll add some minced garlic. Now I'm gonna add half of my pepperonis. And now it's time for our special guest, our venison. And now we're gonna add some mushrooms. Let's do some spinach. Gotta have our greens. And now it's healthy. And now the rest of our pepperonis. Not so healthy anymore. And last but not least, fresh mozzarella. All right guys, we're gonna put this in our 350 degree preheated oven for an initial time of 18 minutes. All right guys, our pizza is cooked for 18 minutes, but I can tell by looking at it that I need to cook it for six more. Your total cook time might vary, but ours cooked for 24 minutes. So all that's left now is to cut, serve, and enjoy. Thanks for watching.